Greetings, dear viewers. Hello, little Alley. I remembered this morning when I woke up, or when I got to my PC, how to take the dirt block back from our little Alley friend here. You have to have an empty hand to do it, at least. I think that's right. Ah, it works. All right. Thank you, little Alley, for helping me carry that singular dirt block back. <laughs> I'm going to sleep through the night. Dear viewers, <laughs> all right, he's saying see you later. Later. Uh, dear viewers, today is the day that we finally do the thing that I've been talking about. Uh, first, before we do it, though, we're going to do... We're going to do... Where's the stuff that I want? Oh, wait. All right, let's grab this. New recipes unlocked. Check your recipe book. Looks like... Copper block and lightning rod. Okay. Yeah, so that's all I can really do with that, huh? Where's the lightning rod even at? Here? Oh, really? That's it? <laughs> okay. Um, maybe this has, like, redstone uses or something like that? Not sure. But there's the whole copper thing. Let me put this in the miscellaneous chest. Um, but what I really wanted to do was... Like this, I don't really need a whole lot else. And I cannot see the axe. There it is. It would have been a lot faster for me just to draw it. Okay. And we'll go. And, we'll go ahead and do exactly eight right there. And you know what? I don't want to burn a whole coal for that. I know I'm not really trying to be super efficient, but whatever. We'll go ahead and get those smelting. Two sticks should be enough for the one, right? Yeah, that's enough for the one. There. And I'll drop that in there. Those will, those will finish in their own time. <clears throat> okay, so I have my kit all ready and good to go. I've got a shield. I've got my armor. I've got torches. I've got food. I've got dirt. I've got my bucket. I've got some coal that I... What am I doing here? And that's why. That's, that's where that goes. Okay, I've got some coal that I didn't want to have. All right, everything's good. Now then, first things first. We are going to grab some sugar cane, and we are going to grab a compass. And at this point, most of you already know what we are going for here. Blink, I believe this is how a map is made. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, new recipes unlocked. Wait, I saw something on there. <gasps> Okay, let's grab this empty map. Ta-da! We're going to play with that soon. Hold on. But what were the recipes I just unlocked? Let's go, let's go back here. There should be, I wish it was like a new recipes kind of thing. Sugar, I can make all that right now, huh? Okay. What? Is there a recently unlocked tab or something like that? No, but I saw some sort of new block that I'm really interested in making. Not this one. There was something else. Mm, I will know it when I see it. I'm glad I can make these already. Oh, different kinds of signs. I see. Here it is. Cartography table. What is this even for? Hmm. Fletching table, loom. So some of these, smithing table. Smithing table, fletching table, and loom. These must be for the villagers to turn them into the proper professions. Okay. Smoker for cooking. Uh, campfire for cooking when I, when I want to cook without using fuel. Interesting. Lectern. This is the one I want to give a villager so that they will start selling me books. Um, that's crafting, but there's also, uh, uh, there's also a fletching table, right? I can just type fletch. Oops. Flet. Nope. Flet. This one is probably better for me. Yeah. If I make a villager a fletcher...
then I can buy arrows instead of having to farm chickens. Okay, I like that idea. All right, but that's not what we're that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're doing something a little extra fun, something I've been wanting to do since the start of this playthrough. Uh, so I've got my map, and to use that, I put that in my hand, but there's nowhere good. I guess the food slot. Okay, so here's my map, right? I'm, ah, wait. Oh, it's already filled out with the... Wait, why is it? Why is my map not in the center? Why am I not in the center of this map? Oh, does the map draw the chunk it's in? And that's... Oh, that's where I am on the chunk. Okay. So here's where I actually am right now. So I'm going to need to make multiple maps. I'm going to need to go to an unexplored part. I see. So that way leads to the village and spawn and the illager camp and all kinds of stuff and that way leads out to the mine so i wanted to make a map and then explore the area around it looks like i've already done a lot of that for this chunk um so where actually on this map how do i place this somewhere can i place this somewhere i can with an item frame um i want to explore a large area around me especially north and south using the map this is interesting. And I also want to mark this area as my base. And it's my understanding that I can make banners, which is why I've been collecting wool in secret. Not really in secret. Where is the wool? I think I put it over here. Yeah. Let's grab the white wool for now. I don't think I need too many banners. So we'll just grab the white wool for now. Come here and maybe find the banner. Nope. That can't be right. I saw the banner a second ago on here. I saw one. Oh, maybe I have to be in all for banner. Yeah, there it is. White banner. All right. So how many of those can I make? If I right click this and then right click the white banner, right click and then shift click the banner, that's all that I can make, right? Yes, okay. So I can make four banners. Let's make those. Oh, they stack. That's just extra nice. Out of curiosity, if I were to take some gray wool and we were to go boom, boom, boom. That does not work. Not in any configuration. Okay, so you can't, I know you can make, I think, I don't, I don't know, I think you can make multicolored banners. But for that, I think you need to work on them in a specific way. I'm not sure, but I don't need multicolored banners right now. I'm not too concerned with that. I was just doing a little bit of experimentation. All right, so what we've got here is we have a map, and we're gonna we're gonna need a second map, definitely. Let's make a second map. Actually, let's make let's make one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's make a couple different maps. <clears throat> For that, we need a couple of compi, compi complete. And what if we type map here and shift click, shift click. Uh, yes, I need to make more paper. Thought I made enough. And there's actually some outside sound going on, dear viewers, one sec. Okay, we're good. Yeah, there was some sound going on outside. I wanted to edit through it. And while I did, or during the edit, I uh, made a couple more maps. I think we already did that. Anyway, and let's put this stuff away for the time being. Sugar cane. Uh, paper can go in there too. Hmm. Paper and sugar cane seem like something I'm more actively using now. So let's make it easier to find just by dropping it into this miscellaneous chest. Like right here. Okay. Now then, I don't want to use this map right here because I think it'll just end up being another map number zero, which is apparently what this one is. Programming is funny like that. Zero is the first number in a programmer's uh, list of numbers. Whereas it's one for most people. Um, anyway, so we've got the maps. We've got the banners. And I believe in order to mark 
my base, I need to do something like this. Here's what we'll do. We'll take this banner. Bah. Okay, we'll take this banner and we'll put it right. Let's say, let's say right here is fine. Boom. Yay. Perfectly blank banner. But if I look at the map, okay, it doesn't appear here until you right click on the map or the banner. Aha! Aha! All right. <laughs> cool. So the next step is to. Wow, this is like super well mapped out. I've, I've been I've been a lot of places. That must mean if I were if I were to go let, let, let's, let's follow it let's follow it let's follow it. Am I armored up? I am armored up. I have a shield. Yes, I have a shield. I have torches and food. We're good. I have a decent little set of tools to work with. So how how far out is the mine then? Wow, this map is actually kind of small. Why is this map so resolution? I remember them being bigger resolution. Is that what a cartography table is for? No, I don't know how to use that yet. You know what? Maybe if I were to experiment with it a little bit. Let's try that. Let's get this out of my face, though. I thought that was a way to have it in your offhand. Ah, there we go. This is good. This is such a small resolution map. Zip. Cartography table. What do you need? Cartography table. Just four oak planks and two paper. Okay. Or any planks, really. But we got a lot of oak. So. Four oak planks, two paper. Dos papeles. Now, I believe it just goes zoop and then zoop, zoop. Those are maps, not paper. That's paper. Cartography table. Now, please don't. No, please tell me this isn't just for um, villagers. Empty map. Oh, empty maps don't go there. But a full map does. What about a full map and an empty map? Oh, it'll copy. It makes two copies of map zero. Huh. Okay. Not quite what I was going for here, though. How do I expand my map? I thought I could expand my map in some way. Like maybe, what if, what if we did something like this? Let's just make a buttload of paper. I should probably plant some of this sugar cane before I go through all my, all my sugar cane. I need a, I need a place with sand to do so first. Let's plant some of this. It's very it would be very easy to go through all of it right now. And we don't want to do that. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's do this too. Turned that off a couple sessions ago and hadn't turned it back on for our recording yet. Aha. 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 Aha! Wow! Pop. 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 Pretty nice. Pop. Small little cave to play around in a little. Yeah, we're golden. Let's just grab a little bit of this Mineable surface iron. Lol. We just lit up the home of an Enderman. It's all right. He'll forgive us someday. This cave looks cool, though. Yep, it's got a creeper down there. This, <laughs> this dude's just doing some rearranging. Whoopsie. There we go. We did not look directly at him, so he didn't go all. It's like they did. It's like they tried not to make the Enderman scary, but annoying. Freaking monster shows up in my room late at night, going. 
I'm just gonna be like, bitch. <laughs> That'll be the end of it. <laughs> okay. Let's just eat a crap load of potatoes. I've been running around all freaking Minecraft day, trying to figure out different things, trying to solve different problems. It's a very mappy kind of day in Minecraft. Okay. I don't need a whole lot of this. I don't anticipate using a ton. There. Now with 15, I should be able to make enough paper to keep me happy. I'm just trying to figure out how to expand my map, how to increase its uh, field of view, so to speak. Because this little map I've got on me right now ain't going to cut it. And I know that's not the uh, highest resolution a map can go. Actually, is a small map with a small field of coverage, is that low resolution or is that high resolution? Hmm. Because, like, the more you zoom in, the more detail you get, so that's higher resolution, right? But I don't know. So we've got the banner placed, and it's marked on the map just like we want. Okay, now I'm just going to come here and make whatever paper I can with this. And uh, the plan was to put a map here, and then maybe... Does that work? Wait! Wait, there's no way that it would take up all this paper and map zero. Ugh, I'm going to try it. There's no way for me to know. Please don't tell me it's just a small little map still. Aha! I was right! That's cool! I love that that worked that way. This is more what I wanted. Now, can I make it even higher resolution than that? <laughs> or, you know what? <gasps> Wait, yes, I have just enough, right? <gasps> It'll work! Wait, no, that's map, no. Wait, map number one is, now is map number, oh, because it's not the same map as before, right. So this should, this should zoom it out even further? <laughs> yes, I don't want to go any further than this. This is about what I want. Okay, so dear viewers, now we can begin charting the area around us and placing banners to leave markers at key points of interest. Cool. All right. It's turning Minecraft night. Let's think. Before we do the next thing, before we actually set out, we, before we sleep and reset the day and then go out to uh, fill up our new map, before we do that, let's go harvest our potatoes because we know we have a villager who'll trade for them. So we want them growing because we want to make a lot of emeralds because we're going to want a lot of buy, of arrows, buy a lot of arrows once I get a Fletcher. <laughs> oh my god, so many plans. Okay, let's go harvest our, our freaking potatoes now. I'm excited now that the map... Oh, I got the map working. I've been wanting to do this since we started this playthrough. I've been wanting to make a map since we started this playthrough. I have, I have, I have, I have. So that I can explore the area around me and mark stuff and then... Yeah, I don't know. That's just really exciting to me. I think it's... Might be? I don't know. It's definitely will be a fun, it'll definitely be a fun way to find out everything that's around me. And who knows? Who knows? Maybe we will run into a dark oak forest. Oh, that, that farming, that farming villager is going to be so happy that he's got like a really great place. A really great neighbor. Hey, poisonous potato. No. Ew. It's all gangrene. No, gross. Why are you so icky? Remember, folks, don't be a poisonous potato. Tendy. That's can't. What the how? No, you bunghole, bung ball, Tendi. That's cantaloupe talk. I need you to be a cantaloupe. You can't get in, right? I don't know how the other one got in. Did one. What in the- oh! <laughs> I see. Yeah, actually one of you viewers mentioned that I put that there. 
Okay. Um, and I think this was the prevailing notion of how to fix that. There. <laughs> that makes it a little bit more manageable. Uh, what else was I keeping in there? I think it was just the hoe. I don't need to... Yes, I do. I need it till one block, and then this goes back in there. There. <laughs> okay. That explains it. I remember reading a comment when I first made this farm many videos ago, or a number of videos ago. It said that monsters would be able to jump on the chest and get in. And I thought to myself, eh, it should be fine. <laughs> I'll just harvest during the day. Lo and behold, I find myself harvesting at night. <laughs> Zombies jumping into my into my farm. Whoever left that comment, that had to be <laughs> had to be satisfying to watch. All right, well, we're just gonna store the potatoes for the time being. We won't be doing any trading in this session. Empty map, empty map, empty map, map. Okay, so I don't need these two empty maps, not yet. We will we will probably use them. But right now they don't they don't need to be in our inventory. We can save a couple slots that way. A couple of raw iron. Still feeling good about my kit. Here's map zero. There's some potatoes still in my belt. Potatoes complete. Drit map. Kablestene. Ah, I can kind of stay there. Okay. Uh, so now this is good. We've mined out our potatoes. We can sleep. And then which direction do we want to go? I suppose I can run over to the mine and see what see how far this actually is on this map. In fact, I might want to bring a second one just in case I end up in a different chunk and then yeah. Okay, cool. So fine, we'll do this. And we'll sleep. I'm well fed. My armor is still in good shape. My kit is in a nice spot. It's a new day. And let's just go ahead and put this in our offhand and travel with our sword at the ready. Okay, now we can see how far I'm moving on the map there. Actually, it's kind of hard to see. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. So we're going to cross that river. We may actually find ourselves, let's just, let's just get to the mine. We may actually find ourselves at the edge or beyond map one. It is map one now, I think, or is this map two now? It's just map, okay, it's map two now. I'm underwater. should be the bridge. Whoop, carefully with the plates. There's a chicken I don't... Eh, whatever. I was thinking of going for some feathers. But if we're going to make a villager do fletching, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, I also want to look at this ravine. I don't want to mark it, though. Not yet. I've only got three more banners. I want to save them. I want to save at least one of them for finding something new. I want to mark this. I want to mark the mine with this. Let's see how far we are on the map now. Okay. Oh, there's the. We can actually see the ravine. A little crescent-shaped moon behind us. Yeah, I think the mine itself is beyond even this map. Brrr. I may need to expand this map one more time. I'm not sure if I can. Now, if I look at the map, wait, oh, dang it, the map doesn't have my base marked because I need to right-click this new map on the banner in front of the base. Okay, understood. Back to the pillar we go. In times of great need, legends say that a hero will rise. Spawning almost out of thin air, some may say.
he'll find himself lost in a strange new world, unaware of his destiny. Oh well, he'll say. And then he'll dilly-dally around for eons. <laughs> Not doing anything particularly heroic, say the legends. Okay. And the actual entrance we work with usually is... I really need a better way down. The torches I've placed! Are perfectly fine! Good. I think the best thing to do is place the banner right here. Instead of right at the mouth of the cave. We'll just go. Boom! Put the map back here. Right click on it. Dang! Wait, we're off the edge. Hmm. We are off the edge of the map. So we're not... Okay, so the little, the little dot means... I think the dot on the map means we're off the edge of the map. So if I'm correct and I use this new empty map here... Wait, this one's going to have low resolution too because it's a small map, right? Yep. Ah, this is not working the way I thought it would. But that's okay because we can figure that stuff out. I don't want to go back into the cave now. I just wanted to mark it. Look at this. Okay, this one doesn't have it. And right-clicking on this banner with this map isn't going to matter. Because we're going to expand this map too. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't dawn on me that the next map would be small as well. Okay, so the mapping is a little bit more involved than I thought. But we can now leave this area. There's the pillar we came up to. We can now return... And fully explore the area with our present fully expanded map. Let's kind of get out of here first. So is the cartography table only for making copies of maps? Bark. The sun's direction. Yeah, we're good. That means we're going the right way. Yeah, we're back on this map. So let's go this way. Now, dear viewers, we're going southward. Mm. Brr, you like south? Oh, God. This is a direction we have not traveled far in whatsoever. And it looks like a boat would be handy to do so, doesn't it? Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to go back. But I can't expand the map without more paper. We need to let our our thingy things grow. That's fine. We'll explore this on foot for a little bit then. We'll head south. Ooh, I'm always tempted to mine clay and sand whenever I see it. <gasps> come here we need this stuff give me some water too while i'm down here good 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 sugar cane guess i'm gonna need a little bit more of that than i anticipated so okay Now, I know there's, like, more stuff underwater to find than just new spawns of different kinds of animals and fish. I know there's more stuff underwater, so I'm kind of looking around, too. As an uninformed semi... Well, as an uninformed modern Minecrafter, we'll put it that way. As a Minecrafter uninformed of the more modern features. Ooh, there's is that lava that I see over there? Off to the west? Might be. Okay, we've got a nice oak forest. we got a, a nice forest here, just in general. A nice oak forest. Oh, baby piggy. Baby piggy in a cave. Small cave, little pocket. No visible uh, surface iron, so I'm not concerned. I'm not going to 
put my attention toward that. What are we looking at here? We can just keep going wherever we want. Westward. We want to fill out the corners of this map. Look at that little cave over there. It actually piques my interest a little. Piques my interest a little bit. Just want to see what that kind of generated like. I want to see what it's like over there. Plus, it gives me an excuse to swim because swimming is fast. Oh, the bee is getting water. Oh, well, that's not how you do it, dumbass. Yeah, there you go. You're supposed to get water. I see bees do this IRL. I used to have a swimming pool when I was a kid. Bees would come by and, you know, when you're a kid, you're scared of bees. Well, I was anyway. But, um, I didn't mind when they showed up for a visit. They would just sit on the surface of the of the pool to drink the water. And while they did, I, I didn't do the scared thing and try and splash them off or kill them or anything like that. I was like, you know what? You, you got to survive too, man. So I would just settle down, let the let the bees get their drink, and then they would just leave peacefully, and I'd go back to playing in the pool with my friends. Bees got to drink water too. Everything's got to drink water too. Okay, so we're filling out the corners of this pretty well, and going out this way will show us more about the southern area. Um below our base or south of our base okay we've got some flowers out here this forest is very interesting because it stands between me and i think total annihilation of my enemies so i'm just gonna leave it up why would i want to destroy a barrier between me and Total annihilation of my enemies. Well, we're way, we're way down here now. So this is interesting. This map is showing me a, a few cool things. Because in the northeastern part of this map, I can't really use my cursor to point at things because it just makes me look around. But in the northeastern part of this map is where the X cave is. And um, it always feels like every time I'm running around, I'm just in a big open plains biome, a big open plains area. But the map is showing me that I'm actually surrounded by very dense forest. I love that making these maps is giving me that greater sense of awareness, that greater sense of place that I was looking for. That's exactly what I was wanting out of making a map. This is so cool. Mm, I got to get back though. It's very easy to spend a whole Minecraft day just looking around and filling out a map. That's what I want to do. Whoa. Do you mind? Oh, you're below. She bees. We got some black wool potentially there. Another great thing about having a map is that I have to pay a little bit less attention to what direction I'm going and maintaining my constant awareness of where my base is. Filling out this map. Filling out this map has been kind of quick. I do want to zoom it out. I hope I can zoom it out like two or three more levels because that's about the kind of map I want. Is that possible? Did they make did they make it so I can do that? Ow. Shields up. Weapons on line. Oh. Ooh, AOE slash. How annoying. Yes, arrows. You dropped an arrow. Viewer torch. Boom. Boom. So, I think this skeleton's arrow finished off this skeleton after the arrow bounced off my shield. Gonna have to go back and watch that. Stun lock. Dude, I play a rogue, man. You can't mess with me. Alright, we'll just leave these torches here. 
the site of combat. Ooh, we picked up a good number of arroz, and that's not to say rice in Spanish. Okay, so we're going to move up here. Need to move out in this direction a little bit to cover that body of water. But we can also do something like this. Boom. Boom. Boom, man. Surface iron really is a rare thing now. That's okay. We're okay. We're okay all day. We're okay. We're okay. I was going to just go into a whole spiel of things that rhyme with day, but. Come on. But then I messed it up right at the start and decided not to do the spiel. So, there we go. Uh, it's a little dark. Be exploring at night. But I think it's bright enough. I think something... Oh, wow. This is actually kind of pretty at night, isn't it? I hope... Well, I know YouTube compression won't destroy it if I don't move a lot. Whoa. What a cool sight. Thumbnail. So should this be the thumbnail or should we just do something like, do something like this? Or should we do something like this? No, I like having something in the foreground. But not much. Yeah, I think the original shot we had was good. I don't gotta play around too much with it. Okay. So the map shows me going this way. Will let me fill out the rest of the ooh. Rest of this body of water. Ooh. Magma block, magma block, magma block, magma block. I wanna explore deeper, but I can't do it until I get potions of underwater breathing. That's another thing I want to do. I want to do alchemy so that I can get potions of underwater breathing and uh, potions of dark vision or whatever they're called. And then I can start exploring those underwater caves. God, Minecraft has so much cool stuff now. Like sugarcane, <laughs> which it has had for a while, but now I'm having a good amount of fun with it here. Also, it's key to note that if you make your paper out of sugar cane instead of tree bark, like a normal human being, I mean, at least sugar cane maps, at least sugar cane paper is waterproof. So, that's interesting. Wait, what are the... Holy! That's what I heard. I heard a gurgle. Did you spawn down here or did you drown down here? Like, did you, were you a normal zombie that drowned trying to get to me? <laughs> I killed that zombie and there was like, some sort of ominous sound. Ow. Yeah, the sound of oxygen needing to fill your lungs primarily. You are like way slow here, dude. You know what? Oh, oh, sneak attack! You were not aware of my presence! Ow. Whoop, 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 whoop. The biggest thing I have to do right now is not suck. Not suck mode, engaged! Buy me some time with that. Let that heal me up, watch my back. Let the water just protect me on a nice half circle back there. And then we're going to potato things here. Ooh, scary. There we go. But don't worry. I'll never die to mobs in this game. I'm too good. I'm too good for that. I will never die to any mob in this game. I know there's all kinds of new hostile mobs, but I'm pretty sure all you need is a bucket and you'll defeat everything. Oh, wait, what? Try to go for the middle one for that. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on. Get closer. Together. Ow. I'm losing a lot of HP just because I want to do the big AoE slash. Get away, pig. Just, what? You walk right up to the middle of combat. He's like, what you doing? 
You are bold, little pig. Bold! You are the bold pig. You are the big. Or the boldig. Or the bo 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 bo. You're the bo 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 bo. Whatever. I, I I seem to be messing up everything today. Let's bring this session to a close. This is this this really wasn't me making too much use of maps, but me learning about maps. So, I believe that's going to be the title of this episode. Ah, oh, balls! I was looking at OBS when I was running over this to see how long my recording was because I had just mentioned the end of this episode. I almost fell down a big hole. Mm, some people will be mad if I don't fill out fully this map before we go, before we end the session. So let me go do that. Bring it, cowards. <laughs> I'm back. That was cool. Oh my goodness. Minecraft is pretty. Is that the thing by the village I saw before? Is that what we're looking at? Okay, good, we filled this out now. I don't think that's the village. I don't think that's the thing by the village. The, the nether, the broken nether portal. I don't think that's what it is, but it might be. I could be like entirely wrong. I'm probably entirely wrong. Yeah, that is the broken nether portal by the village. Same one, right? Question mark. No, there's no, there's no village. Different one. Different one. <laughs> okay, I apologize for that. I had, I had a phone call and I had to do a quick edit. Um, but yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, I want to explore this. But I now have a lot of things. That phone call took a little bit. I'm out of recording time for today. So I'm going to drop this here. And I'm going to take map number two. And we're going to... Oh, dang it. Right click on this. Dang it, that's not going to work. Um, here, how do we do this? Let's go west. Let's go west. Let's take this. Go do, 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 do. Boom. Wait, nope. Grab this back. I'm in a bit of a rush at the moment, but I've got to get back on the, what is this westward? Yes, it's westward. Um, I want to come back to this point at some point. So we're going to mark this the old fashioned way for now. This was a good, this was a good bit learning about maps. Actually, dear viewers, I think the best thing for me to do right now is just end this session here. I forgot I could actually do that. I don't have to go to base every time. <laughs> but uh, I do want to check this out because look, I know that these sometimes come with treasure. So that's going to be cool. We're going to have to find out what that is next time. All right, dear viewers, I have to get going. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you folks next time. <laughs>